Right now, state agents are combing the property of an old junkyard. Police blocked the road to R&B Recycling in Connellsville for hours. Shelly Bortz has been out there following the developments and joins us now live. Shelly, what did you find out? Well, officials are being very tight lipped about what went down here yesterday, but state police did confirm to me that they were here assisting the attorney general's office secure the perimeter while investigators went deep into the property here digging. But for what is unclear? People told me they couldn't get up the road and couldn't get through. Sonny Andrews lives on Bellevue Road in Bullskin Township. He says he left his house to run some errands yesterday morning and was greeted by a roadblock at the end of his street, right in front of the now closed BNR Recycling, owned by Rodney Allen. I go down the road and uh, there was a couple of police cars. There was a couple of police cars down there, and there was a, there was a cop sitting in between the cars. You know, he wasn't all dressed up. He had his gun on us. Andrews tells me he couldn't see any activity other than about a dozen undercover cars lining both sides of the street. He says he stopped the officer he saw and asked him what was going on. I said, what's going on? And he told me that they're, they're, they're back there digging for something. Uh, he didn't tell me what. He just said they're back there digging for something. I reached out to the attorney general's office who responded with an email stating, at this point, we have nothing to release on the matter. And state police will only say they were assisting the AG's office set up a perimeter. Meanwhile, neighbors on both sides of Bellevue Road share rumors that are circulating as to what investigators may have been looking for at this old garage. But no one truly knows right now and aren't surprised by the activity. And it doesn't surprise me. These weren't good people. I also reached out to the district attorney who tells me he has no information. Reporting live in Connorsville, Shelley Bortz, KDKA TV News.